Imagine, if you will, a river so polluted that it's no longer a river, but a flowing garbage dump. One where the water is not clear, but murky and filled with waste. How does a river, a symbol of life and prosperity, end up in such a dire state? Some of the world's most polluted rivers are a testament to the severe consequences of unchecked industrialization and waste disposal. Two such rivers, the Ganges in India and the Baraganga in Bangladesh, stand as glaring examples of this issue. The Ganges, revered as a goddess by millions, unfortunately, is also one of the most polluted rivers. The sacred river is a lifeline to millions of Indians who live along its course and depend on it for their daily needs. However, it is also a cesspool of untreated sewage, industrial waste, and religious offerings that have turned it into a toxic cocktail. The Central Pollution Control Board in India has identified over 700 sources of pollution that directly flow into the river. To put that into perspective, think of 700 pipes, each spewing out a different type of waste, all pouring into one river. On the eastern side of the Indian subcontinent, the Buraganga River suffers a similar fate. The Buraganga is often described as the lifeblood of Dhaka, Bangladesh's capital, providing water for drinking, bathing, and irrigation. However, it is also a dumping ground for industrial waste, human waste, and medical waste. According to the Department of Environment in Bangladesh, the Buraganga River's contamination level is nearly 100 times higher than the recommended safe level. This spells disaster for the millions of people who rely on the river for their livelihood and basic needs. These river states are not just an environmental crisis, but a humanitarian one too. They affect the health and livelihoods of the people who depend on them, leading to a multitude of health issues and economic challenges. But this doesn't have to be the end of the story. Each of us has a role to play in reversing this trend. Small actions can make a big difference. Think about the products you use every day. Are they environmentally friendly? Can you reduce your waste or recycle more? Can you advocate for stricter pollution controls in your community or country? Remember, change starts with you. By making conscious choices, you can contribute to the solution rather than the problem. So, stand up, speak out, and take action. The health of our rivers, our planet, and our future generations depend on it. Let's not let our rivers turn into flowing garbage dumps. They deserve better. We deserve better. And together we can make a world of difference.